Welcome to the Brant and Sherry Oddcast. To find out more about the show or to order Brant's new book, Life is Hard, God is Good, Let's Dance, go to BrantHanson.com. To put a lid on the whole eclipse thing. <laughs> um, it needs a lid, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Top it all off. <laughs> I don't know why I'm the one to put a lid on eclipse. Everyone sitting you at know? home like, you know, I feel like there's not a lid <laughs> on this eclipse cl- thing. I need some closure. <laughs> I need some closure. <laughs> Just, can't just, just let it know, linger out there. Like, we need up someone to wrap it up. <laughs> anyway, Andy yeah. emailed me. Ready? Yeah. He said, "I heard you because we we talked about this last week. Yeah, I heard you talk about the Earth and Sun being relatively similar in size from our perspective. Uh huh. And he said that was the exact point I made with my family last night with the same fervor and excitement. Oh. And I received the same exact response that you did from Sherry. Oh, okay. Which is they did not care. <laughs> But I just like Aww. he said. I am so excited about it. The exactness of our universe is by no is is no accident. It is so wild. Like yeah. it works out that way because mm-hmm. it's not like all the other known exoplanets that we know about. Like none of them would have that perspective. Yeah, where it would work out to be the same. Like this is crazy. Well, I'm glad you and Andy have each I other. I did. We do. Yeah, and I think that's the real other. closure here. Is <laughs> Andy and I have formed a friendship. <laughs> Did you have a lot of eclipse prophecy on your timeline? No. I didn't either. I thought maybe it Not was one. sort of like I've I've had this several times where it's sort of like the red Starbucks cup yeah, yeah. something. Oh yeah, that happens all the time. Where it's like everyone is railing against something that I didn't see the initial thing. Yeah. And everyone's like, "Oh, come on." And I'm yeah. like, "Well, what ha- I and then I'm always like, do, am I not friends with those specific people? Or are people responding to just yeah. a germ of something that actually wasn't something? I never know. I've, I've I heard about conspiracy theories. I haven't seen one. I haven't seen one either. Yeah, so, but people, I have seen more people yeah. railing yeah. against. And like they are serious. Like, I can't believe this. And I'm like, where, where is it? So I just saw a story about a mayor. Uh-huh. Of a city who's complaining about everybody attacking him, and he said this thing has been. Oh, they and journalists said, "Look at this tweet. It's been viewed thirty million times. It's, okay, it, it, it attacks him. Attacks the mayor. Yeah, it's just some random person. Okay, who doesn't like this mayor. Okay, but if if you like look at where those views came from, uh-huh. they're all from people who like him. Uh huh. Retweeting and and then talking uh. so. That would get no views. Okay. There is no giant thing, but it's oh, all these people okay. attacking that person okay. that fuels all the views. It's the same thing. It's like oh, the, I see, I the see. furor over the thing is way bigger than the than thing. The actual There's no thing. big movement. Okay. You can actually see it's because she retweeted it and then commented on it. Okay. She got 12 million views on her. All so that's right. 12 of the 30. And then that guy, <laughs> that's 10 of the 30. That guy, that's five of the 30. Like, that's like what I it kept, has no actual traction. I kept looking like, where are the eclipse prophecies? I haven't seen, I saw one person. Well, I did. I should say that. Two. I saw two people say something. <laughs> and those, Okay, maybe it is a movement. No, yeah, okay, those all right. two people. But and besides, I saw okay. like six likes on each of those. Right. So that's 12 and then them 13, 14. <laughs> and then I saw like way more people saying that this is unbelievable enough yeah. already. And yeah. I was like, well, maybe yeah. I'm missing something. That's yeah. why I asked you, did you see a lot of eclipse? No, but I, I encounter this process. all the time okay. where it's like this huge backlash to a thing and it's yeah. like it, it makes people feel good to yeah. backlash against something so yeah the furor is always bigger than the original thing yeah but it gives us all something to rail against okay it makes us feel almost like self-righteous yeah superior okay to, and then to yeah. something that actually wasn't a thing yeah thing. yeah but we can feel superior to these people who are out there with these conspiracy theories Whoever i haven't they seen them, it's it's the can um, you believe those people it's the uh it's the quote-unquote they i yeah. never liked they in the workplace i didn't like well they no, said no. they i was no, told who? by they yeah yeah, yeah. what what, like, what exactly are you talking about yeah but we're like yeah I, I, the starbucks red cup thing well it should be the case study <laughs> they're just it's one dude Acting like all Christians were <laughs> in the streets. So Jesus is talking to his followers, his, his tight 
you know, his disciples, right? Yeah. And he says, in this world, you're going to have troubles. But be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. Mm -hmm. That's in John. Yeah. Troubles. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know generally what happened to those guys. To all of them, basically, yeah. Yeah, it's like, hey, you're going to have some problems. Mm -hmm. But be of good cheer. They, like, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of it, but basically all lost their lives. Yeah. Practically all of them, I think, because of their belief in him. They suffered a lot. Yeah. And he's still telling them that you can be of good cheer because I've overcome the world. Like, he knows even then, like, the way this ends, the big picture, you're actually safe with him. And this ends well. Even if you go through some awful stuff, it's going to be worth it. If you missed the big announcement, uh, I'm running for... <laughs> Yes. Senate uh-huh in the year 2038 you give yourself some time yeah because I know I have a lot to learn yes how do you feel like you're ramping up here or do you feel stuck how are you feeling about uh, your start I feel the stuck <laughs> still trying to like how can we help make enough like lawn signs I'm doing them all by hand yeah that's probably an Tired. issue yeah yeah you should be anywho uh-huh. um, this guy <laughs> in India is kind of inspiring his name is K Padm had Marijan? Yes. Uh-huh. He has been in 238 elections, and he has lost every single one. Uh, and well, he just keeps running. I don't know that that should be a model for you. He says uh, his okay. focus yeah. remains on the journey <laughs> rather than the destination. <laughs> so it's really about the journey. Yep, it is. But I'm guessing in 2038, to have taken this long. Uh, if I lose, All right. I'm, I'm going off in the okay. sunset. I'm never doing this again. <laughs> Trying to do this thing called solitude, practicing solitude. So take an hour, mm. just go sit. Don't get up, don't walk around, don't stretch, don't just, just sit there. And I wanna talk to God and it's quiet, I don't have my phone. This is should be easy, it's not always. I was gonna ask how, yeah. what was your experience? The hour actually it? goes pretty fast, but I also was like, I'm, I've been told to create space for God to talk to you. Yeah. Like he might have something he wants to say, but you have to quiet yourself down. And so, the last couple times I've done this, like, okay, here, here you go, Lord. Mm-hmm. And then the hour's up. And mm-hmm. I'm like, well, I got to go about my day, and nothing big happened. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, that's really disappointing. And I thought, wait, some people go decades. Mm-hmm. I just did two hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you better speak to me on my terms, or yeah. else you're not. Like, I don't know. It's just uh, our expectations can be silly. He's not a math equation. He's not an algorithm. He doesn't work that way. I know he's good, and I know he can speak to me in a number of different ways. Some people are going to hear this and think, that's crazy. That is really weird. Uh, what are you talking about? Others may say, hmm, maybe something to that. Here's an idea. That's crazy. See, I told you. <laughs> Did I not say that some people would say that? <laughs> Have I not? See? Even on my own show. And I haven't even said it. And that's... I'm sorry. No, 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 it's good. No, I heard somebody say this, and I've, I've been trying to do this. Uh-huh. Go through your day blessing everybody. Mm. What I mean by that, there's workers on the side of the road. Mm-hmm. Pray for God's blessing for him or her. Mm-hmm. There's this guy mowing his lawn outside. There's a neighbor there. You're walking past somebody. Just, just, I know for some people, like, this is not even realistic. It is realistic, but it's a habit. But you know, that changes the day. It changes your heart. Yeah. It's what it does. Honestly, yeah. you will react to things differently practicing that. Like for God's peace to be on, you may it'd be a total stranger, but why not? Whoa, this is kind of harsh. Chechnya has a music ban in place. All music? All tunes must align with the tempo ranging from 80 to 116 BPM beats per minute. <laughs> That's so specific. Yeah. Is there a reason? The Republic's <laughs> culture ministry says it corresponds to the Chechen mentality. They don't want it fast. That's not like 118 beats per minute is like, uh, uh. Uh, uh, so it's not that fast. So okay. they, they're cutting it off at 116. Okay. So uh, I don't know. it's a little under disco. Is that a I, disco? I guess so. Okay. Yeah, let's say so. A little disco. Yeah, a little, right. little under disco. <laughs> I thought this was a little crazy. And I was like, if I would like that job. What? Like I could decide no more this. Oh. Like, no, I don't want any more love songs. Okay. Oh, you would be the only min- the nautical history <laughs> songs from now on. Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a, a 
thing we do on the show as a service to people, especially younger guys kind of look up to me for social tips. And so I'll do a little role play with Sherry. Okay. Um, they call me the social sensei. Like, uh, the guys Because, do. yeah. I because, just haven't heard them. Because I used to be really awkward. You did. Yes, yes. I did. Mm -hmm. It's true. I know. Yeah. And uh, But <laughs> I'll demonstrate <laughs> like how to. So if you meet somebody new, mm -hmm. Um, related to stuff in the news. Sure. Find something to talk about. Like, so let's let's say we're at. This a, is how you socially interact. Yeah. So okay. let's say we're at um, a business luncheon. Sure. And up front is like punch bowl and baby yeah. carrots. And uh huh. Stuff. And then you're there. Yeah. Okay. And then I don't know you. Okay. But then you, we start talking. Okay. I start. Uh. Then say. I don't know. Um. <laughs> I will. I will. You go ahead. Okay. Hey. That Hi. How are that you? Eclipse, My name is Sherry. That eclipse and, uh, got me started thinking about the moon. I mean, when they landed on the moon, it was probably pretty cold up there, don't you think? I don't know. I'm not a... You I, don't think it was pretty cold? I mean, come I, on, it's I the don't, moon. I don't know what the temperature is on the moon. How are you? What department well, do you work in? Well, it was 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you thought it was cold, then you're in for a, uh, another thing. Sensei, may I? What is your name? Uh-uh. Okay. That is awful, All right. okay, awful so it, interaction. You can admit that that did not go well. It didn't go well. Okay, Guys, <laughs> I just asked that you give me another chance. Because I thought she would say it was cold. And then she didn't. So, yeah. Yeah, so Sherry might be wondering, and I would understand this, why I'm wearing my accordion right now. I was wondering, but was afraid to ask, yeah, quite I know. frankly. I know. Yeah. You don't ask. No, I don't. Um, it's because I received <laughs> this note from T-Bone and the Thunderbirds. Okay. Yeah. I'm so glad I didn't ask. Hey, Brant, we, as a gang of street toughs, street agree toughs. that you are pretty cool. However, if you can meet this challenge, we will be mega fans. So they're tough guys. And this they is such interesting language for 2024. More. It is. Um, <laughs> can you do a pommel horse routine in the studio, uh, stick the landing, and then, uh -huh. as a final flourish in tribute to Monday's eclipse, perform a bit of total eclipse of the heart on you your broken accordion? Oh. Can you do that? We're not sure. Signed, T Bone. And the thunder here on Tuesday they want that. Yeah, okay, fun, all right. Like, that's like to put a, yeah, yeah. a, a finishing uh, sure. touch, an on exclamation point, if all you will. Of the okay, eclipse. So you're going to do the pommel horse routine with yes. the accordion on. Here I go. I'm going okay, up here. Just be, this is not easy. Just be I careful. Okay, on. I know. Yeah, be careful. It's, this is very. <laughs> here we go. Up. <laughs> careful. Oh, oh man. Just I don't think you should have worn oh, that. Okay. Then, oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> It's not my fault. Well, he acknowledged that it was broken, broken, so he knows. Yeah. It he sounds knows. like I hit the wrong key. I no, didn't. well, it's a broken accordion, which he said. There you go, yeah. guys. <laughs> Something we like to talk about on the show is not just having faith in Jesus, not just trusting Jesus, but having the faith of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Like, look at his faith. Look at how he's not rattled by Pontius Pilate <laughs> or, or rattled even by uh, Judas. Yeah. Or rattled by... By the rulers of the time. Yeah. The, the prestigious men of the time. Right. Now, yeah. Judas was rattled. Yeah. Yes, he was he all was. about the political power plays that yeah. were going on. And I mention this because there's this thing called electoral... What do they call it? This electoral stress disorder now? There's different names for it. I guess that would be true, huh? Yeah. and uh, It's there's... constantly in your face. Constantly. So a lot of people are suffering from this, I guess. Just super anxious. Yeah. I get it. But um, it's not something you have to endure. And, yeah. I, and when I was reading the tips about how to deal with it, of course, these are all just typical newspapers or whatever. They like, really don't have anything to say that right. help. Right. Not much. I just love having, thinking, you know what? Look at, how, look at Jesus' faith in his father. Like, I can have that and not be rattled. So the number one movie at the box office last weekend was the Godzilla King Kong movie. Oh. Okay. Right. I've been hearing people talk about it. I was like, couldn't resist. Had to look up the reviews. Okay. And uh, the review, the audience rates it highly. Uh huh. And the reviewers don't. Okay. One of them faulted the lack of sociopolitical commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they won. <laughs> it, it, 
each candidate to have <laughs> each uh, monster to yeah. have the candidate's face superimposed on it. Yeah. Teaches things. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. not teaching enough. Uh, <laughs> like, no, it's just knocking buildings over, guys. What do you think? Yeah, we were just talking about election stress disorder. That's an actual thing. Election anxiety. I was reading about that. Yeah. So I, the other morning I had read my Bible a little bit and then went on my phone, you know, Google news pops up. Yeah. And, you know, obviously the news of the day, which is always election news. And I click on one of the stories. This is what you do. And I could feel my heart rate start to yeah, yeah. race just a little yeah, bit. Yeah. And I had to say to myself, click it off. There's nothing here that is going to be of any benefit to you. I really did have to say that. And then I had I like had this whole dialogue with myself. Well, you have to stay informed. And then I said to myself, well, what are you going to do with that information? Uh -huh. What are you actually going to do with that information? Because what you, you can do something with what you just read, which was the Bible before that. But what are you going to do with this? This actually had you, has your heart racing. Yeah. And you have to, this, there's nothing good that is happening with you for this. And I know that's, that could be controversial to say. Well, because we've been made to think we're not good citizens if we, we're not constantly cramming ourselves with information. Right. I mean, where did we get that idea? Yeah. Not from God. Yeah, right. That's true. Where he's always like, focus on the real kingdom, yeah. which is yeah. me. This is where the life is going to come from. This is where the actual peace is going to come from. Yeah. And as a journalism graduate, yeah, I can tell you that they're constantly going to crank out things that are designed mm -hmm. to make you feel that way yeah and um well one of the words they always say is look yeah right <laughs> when they're talking look now look yeah <laughs> <laughs> like you know what uh there's something deeper and better i'm gonna look at this professional organizer lady saw her saying that we really don't need so many ink pens Oh, that hits home. It hits home with me, too. Yeah. Like, we really don't. I, am, I don't know what I'm, wait I'm waiting for. That's really, really funny because I just, was it yesterday, I think? Uh -huh. I was in Target and... Like <laughs> <laughs> yet more pins. For no reason at all, <laughs> I was like, oh, let me get this pack of pens. No reason. No reason. Yeah. I am a penaholic. Me, too. I really I am. it's very common. We got mugs yeah. full of pens. Yes. We got pins in yes. drawers. Yeah. Pen, like, just with 100 pens. Yeah. And still, what are we afraid of? I don't know because still, when it's time to write something, I'm like, "Hey, do you have a pen?" I know. <laughs> because we keep them all together in some drawer way over right. there. Right. <laughs> and when it's time to write something, we're like bracing for the big <laughs> pen shortage of 2026. The Brant and Sherry Oddcast. To find out more about the show or to order Brant's brand new book, Life Is Hard, God Is Good, Let's Dance, go to branthanson.com.